Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today is not going to be like a tutorial. It's going to be more like a let's play. And you see, I got my outfit ready for some yard work. And we're going to be making an orchard. So, um, see, I got some trees already down, but I'm not going to make it all apples. So let's clear up some space for some fencing. All right, so these trees down here, we're going to do something and get them out of the way. Bro, only one piece of wood. All right, get these ones too. And, wow, well, no wood here. Right, like I said earlier, I already got some apples here, but we have other fruit here on the island. I'm um, not sure which ones, but anyway, let's go find out. Oof. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, an ants, okay. This is my first time catching ants. Mm -hmm. Alright, so peaches are my native fruit, so that's going to give me the least amount of money. So we got oranges and pears, but I think I'm going to go with pears because I remember when this game first came out, so many people were restarting their island because they got pears, so, you know, let's make them good. And I'm not sure how I want to set this up, but I think I'm going to put them on the right side. Well, that's not an axe. You know, shopping feels so good. I just wish you got more wood, like just one piece. Alright, two, we're going somewhere. Alrighty, so for those that don't know, you can actually eat a fruit, and that'll give you one energy to your meter on the top left. And the more fruit you know, the more energy you have. And what you can do with this, you can break rocks in one hit, which you don't want to do all the time. But you can move trees easily, full-grown trees with apples like this. And, you know, it just saves you some time, like, you don't have to wait for a tree to grow. Right, and you can plant it back as well, and you don't need energy to plant it either. You just drop, and yeah. So originally I said I didn't want any trees next to the cliffs, but we're gonna lock terraforming anyway, so this will do for now. Alright, we're making some progress, and you know, I think it's time we get some fencing out of the way. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I hope you guys don't mind me if I match the A button for like 10 minutes right now. All right, I think that's enough, and you know, I'm gonna go stop this bleeding from my thumb. All right, next step, we're gonna get some decorations. So the codes are gonna be on the bottom left, so go ahead and copy them if you like to get the same ones. These ones, they look so good. I picked them because they look like the art style from Kirby Kirby 3 on the SNES. I forgot. I don't know if it was on part of Superstar. <laughs> but it looks good. Alright, so this one's going to be the for the soil. And I don't see... Oh, there it goes. Okay. I think it's for a bag. But yeah, code on the bottom left. And we're going to go ahead and get this one for some soil. Yes. So to put the soil on the flower, or actually any pattern, you just gotta go to the customs, click on it, and then click place on ground like this. Bruh. Oh, all right. All right, that's better, okay. <laughs> so these trees in the back are actually three spaces, not two, so we eat some fruit. And let's get the show bot and move them. Oh. Bro, if, I, if this goes to the one on the right, we're... Oh my god. Alright, thank god. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like this pattern. It's coming along a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, we're gonna get these ones out of the way too, and... Wait, what? Wait. Uh, why is it not placing? Uh, what? It's I'm literally looking over it. Oh, it's... Oh. <laughs> Time to debut our apple patterns. I wish I had an actual signpost for this, but the painting will do. Alright, let's turn around. Alright, yeah. Looks just as good as I saw in the icons. Nice. Let's get our pair one, too. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed how it's turning out so far. I know it's simple, but it looks nice to me. 
So I'm actually a little worried about the trees in the back, especially with the fencing, because it's only one space in between, and you need more than two spaces for the tree to fully grow and grow fruit. I guess with time will tell. I'm impressed by how much the fencing really like adds to it, but we're gonna get some other decorations too. Alright, so I'm not sure what color I want to pick. I think walnut because it's the darker one kind of matching the tree, so let's go ahead and get that. And mash the A button once again. My gosh. I think we can add a bench too, so make it a dark color as well. For me at least. No sun means no shades. Alright, so I'm a little worried the bench might not be centered because that's a big deal with this game. And it is. Put this here. Cool. Alright. The bench looking good. Right next to the waterfall. Nice. So let's add a little bit more. We'll add some flowers here. Got some pink lilies and <laughs> I actually don't like how it looks like already. Uh what other flowers should I use? Comment. Comment y'all. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Like, I'm really impressed with the fencing. The fencing is probably the thing that makes it look the best. The soil as well, the patterns. I mean, that's everything I added, so that sounds stupid. Fencing though looks so good. I mean, wow, I'm really happy with this. Okay everybody, and that concludes that video for today. Again, I say this ironically all the time, but please like, comment, subscribe, you know, whatever. But yeah, hopefully that you enjoy that little playthrough. Um, like I said, it wasn't tutorial. It could be taken as a tutorial, but it was more of a playthrough. And yeah, just wanted to get something out there again. And thank you guys again for watching as usual. Thank you. Bye.